Do you want to learn three of my favorite keto camping recipes? Hey y'all, I'm Jimmy. And I'm Lisa. The kids are all grown up and now it's our turn to have fun. So now you'll find us camping. Yes, you will. Today, we're gonna to share with you three keto camping recipes. Don't leave too soon. I'm gonna throw in a bonus at the very end. You won't wanna miss it. I'm gonna do this recipe a little different because we're at home, not in the camper. Um, if we're going to have it in the camper, I prep the hamburger meat, the ground beef, the taco meat, whatever you want to call it. I prep that ahead of time and put it in a container in the refrigerator or the freezer, depending on how long we're going to be gone. Uh, then the day, whether it be lunch or dinner, that we're going to have tacos. Not we on make, Tuesday. We make the shells. So, what makes it a keto taco? Because you can clearly have the hamburger. You can even make your own keto taco seasoning if you're that invested. I'm not. I just buy the store-bought kind. I do get the low sodium because the regular is too salty with the taco shells made out of cheese. That's the part you can't have. The flour tortillas, the corn tortillas. Uh, so that's the trick is we're going to make our own tortillas. This bag has two cups of cheddar cheese in it. Um, the cheddar cheese is our preference, and there's plenty of different recipes out there. We just use cheese. Some people sprinkle chili powder, cumin, a combination, one or the other on theirs. Um, we just use plain cheese. Here at the house, I'm going to do it on parchment paper. This should make six shells, or we could make four that are a little bigger. So for ease, I'm going to try to just make four. It's as simple as... Put your cheese on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. In four or six equal piles. I'm going to go ahead and try to use the whole bag and hope that it doesn't end up in disaster. When we're doing it at home, the parchment paper is fine. You just have to try to get it um, equal thickness all the way around so that it doesn't burn on the edges when it's not melted yet in the center. Uh, you're going to cook it at 375 for five to seven minutes. So what you're looking for is for the edges to, to be uh, starting to crisp up and be brown. And in the center of the cheese should be nice and bubbly. Then you're going to take it out and resist the urge to try to pick it up. Let it sit and cool off for about a minute. And then we're going to try to pick it up with a flat spatula. And there's a couple of different ways. All the recipes I've seen, all the suggestions I've seen, say to then hang it over a wooden spoon that's draped across two cups or glasses. Um, that's great if you have plenty of wooden spoons. I don't always have that many wooden spoons. I've come up with some just for this today. Um, but what I usually do is just lay them on the plate when they're still soft. Put the hamburger meat on them and that the warmth from the meat softens them up a little bit and then I can just fold them in half like a taco. That's just our little cheat. That's how we do it. But even easier is when we're camping because I don't know if you all have seen the videos or if you've participated in any of the 10 RV challenge um, questions. We did participate. There'll be a link up there. But it seems like everybody's favorite camping meal is tacos. Who knew? Tacos are our favorite meal at home and camping. So what Jimmy does is while I'm inside, either reheating the taco meat or cooking it from scratch, just depends on what, what the particular trip is that we're doing. Um, he, on the Blackstone outside, just drops handfuls of cheese onto the Blackstone and when they get melted, he flips them over and then he brings them in. We lay the hot meat on them, fold them in half and they're good. The same recipe also holds true if you like burritos or say like an enchilada. Maybe you don't like picking up tacos, you don't like having it dripping all over your hands, that's fine. You can still use the same tortilla, put the meat on it and roll it and then cut it up and eat it with your fork. Because I will tell you, although it's very delicious, it's very, greasy. it's very messy because cheese is greasy. So when you pick it up between the grease from the meat and the grease from the cheese, it's gonna be running it's all yellow. down your hands. It is delicious but it's a mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven and while they're cooking, we're gonna cook the ground beef. So I'm just gonna use this from the store, 25% less sodium, 
just because that's easier for me. But if you look, it won't be hard to find a recipe for your own homemade keto taco seasoning. So we're gonna take these over here. And let them sit, because they have to cool for a minute. Get my uh, rack set up there. And we'll come back in a minute. And while we're waiting on them, we're gonna check on our ground beef. And it's done and ready to go. So now all we've gotta do is get our shells together. Okay, so we've let these cool and you just have to slide the spatula around them to get them uh, to get them loose from the paper. And then the tricky part is hanging them on your wooden spoon. Taco shells. Jimmy says this is way easier on the Blackstone, but of course, I don't have a black, black stone, stone in the house, so here we are. So those will hang there and harden. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna show you how I think it's easier than doing that to just go ahead and use them while they're soft. Two different ways. So first way is we'll dump this one out on the plate. And of course you don't need to put cheese on them because yes, the shells do. are made of cheese. Just dump your meat right in the middle and then you can roll it up like a burrito. Who can ever have too much cheese? Then you can drizzle salsa, sour cream, whatever your preference is. Hot sauce. On the top and you're ready to go. You can eat with a fork and knife, that's nice and neat. Or, the way Jimmy likes to do it but it's very messy is same thing, you're gonna put the shell on the plate. Oh. Come back to the skillet. Put your meat in there. Hold on, if I have to eat one. So all you guys that do the sticker swap, we have- Mule sauce. Mule sauce. Anybody using mule sauce for their sticker swaps? So Jimmy likes lots of hot sauce, so we'll load him up. That's my ketchup. And then he can put sour cream or whatever else he wants in that. And then you fold it in half. So just in case you guys don't know, there it is. So you fold it in half and boom, you've got your taco. We will come back over and check out the ones that are on the drying rack so you can see how they look. They're starting to harden up already. So once they get a little more firm, you would just take them off see how they are and fill them so there's a keto taco no flour tortilla no corn tortilla all cheese sour cream if you want hot sauce if you want stay tuned for recipe number two don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more keto camping recipes and ring the bell so you don't miss the next video and if you like that video don't forget to give us a thumbs up